always feels the need to vacuum when I'm vlogging. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? How the hell did this come in here? That's a huge cockroach. Huge cockroach. All right, let's kill it. Ready? One, two. Rest in peace, little bud. So I'm guessing that's today's portion of painting my crib. And it has its tools, which you can see on top of my glasses somewhere here. Uh, you can see literally. You can see right there too. Paint, 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 lots of paint. Paint's amazing. Paint, paint is amazing. So after a long day of painting, I need a break. And what other way to do it than to go fishing? So tomorrow, I'm going out to a special place that I've never really fished before. Well, I mean I fished it before, but I've never fished the specific location of the river. Now the East River it has a lot of inlets, and one of these inlets is Dutch Kills. Now, there's nothing that says I can't fish it, right? So, might as well give it a try, right? I got clam. I got a couple pieces of black sea bass. Now, I've never used that as bait. But, if anything, I could just take chunks of that, put it on the hook. Maybe I'll catch something like a striper or a bluefish. Just gonna use tomorrow as a way to get rid of all my bait. To get rid of all my bait for the season, you know, before it starts wrapping up. And I know that the striper should start getting bigger soon. So, looking forward to it. Let's see how it goes. The next morning. That bird has been trying to lay eggs on our fire escape for the last month or so. It's so beautiful compared to the other ugly looking pigeons. That one is so pretty. I woke up today morning and my initial reaction was that it is freezing. And these past couple days have been really well weather wise. Uh, temperatures were around the 70s. Now check it out. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but inside my house it is 56 degrees. And literally the window is wide open and I'm freezing right now. But that shouldn't stop me. I'm just gonna make some breakfast right now. And I'll be out in about an hour. Let's see how it goes. So yeah, here's my bait for today. In that one we got clams. And in that one we got pieces of bunker. From like last... Last month, I think. Yeah, last month. And I've got black sea bass in there. So, looking forward to use all of it. Let's get to it. Two hours later. Same to me here, sir. Wait up. What's up, bro? Pretty lit. Crabs are, bro. Yeah, the crabs are around here. <laughs> Damn, yo, the water's so low. Low tide was around 6:19 in the afternoon today. Some cop cars off in the distance in Manhattan. Hi, right, let's get set up. We got Naim here catching snapper. And when you feel like the slightest tug, bring it up to the surface, okay? Keep the line tight. Oh, are those pecs? No, it's just my anger. Yeah, Alright guys, it's going around my neck. I'm going to try to hook up too. We got three snappers already. Trying to bait up with some shrimp. 
Guys, you have no clue. They slam it. Got a rod right here. Seven foot medium. Let's cast it out there. Ah. I just leave this in our hand, guys. Two hours later. I'm you're getting bit. Don't suck the hook right away. Tighten your excess slack. I'm gonna chum up this place a little bit more, okay? Check that out. That's what we caught today. That's a snapper, right? Yeah, sure. Make good dinner, you know? Damn, it's bleeding out. I hit it with a... Oh. With the side of the beer. Oh, okay. It's an accident. Where are they? Are they gone? I'm going to throw my popper. I stink. Let's go, let's go, let's go. They're here, they're here, they're here. They're here, they're here. They'll come up. They're chasing my lure, they're chasing my lure. Oh! Tons of peanuts! Oh, oh, the money cast. Money cast. Let's go. 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 Oh, sh. Should I throw my Subiki rig? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to cast this out and I'm going to slowly bring it in, okay? Well, that is if I don't get tangled like I just did. That's why I hate these rigs, man. They're a hassle. Damn, look at him. He's using a popper. Catching a catfish with a pigeon. Twice. Yeah, that means bait. It could mean two things. It could either mean bait, or it could mean something's after my... Oh, that was money. That was money. That was money. Oh nine, they're blowing up right in front of us. You see that? All those waves. They're all fish. Oh, it is in its mouth? Yeah. Is that a peanut? Yeah, I think so. It's very small. 
Oh, I mean, hook one of those on. Again, if you want. I mean. I hooked the pin up on the first hook. Do I have something on this? No. It looks like I have something attracted to this though. I'll just like hold it. You got it, you got it, that's your meat, that's your meat, you eat that, you eat that, yeah. Nah, bro, don't worry, let it eat, let it eat, it looks cool. Well, obviously, but that looks nice, doesn't it? What is up, guys? So, I basically did not get much footage there for you guys. What happened is the camera basically leans over the pier. And most of the time it was at a 90 degree angle so I didn't even get to show you guys the amazing blow-ups that we saw but we did happen to catch some fish and I did happen to bring two of these suckers home so let's do a catch and cook there's no other better idea I got so this recipe was basically inspired by my own culture and let me let you guys know right now that I do not believe in fillet jobs okay you lose a lot of meat a lot of excess meat you have a lot more luck just eating around the bones and no it's just not because I'm Asian it's actually true so let's get into cooking these little guys so first of all we gotta clean these suckers and for that we're gonna need a fish descaler which I should have in here somewhere so let me show you guys how to clean these suckers first of all what you want to do is you want to go opposite to the fish's body get off as much scales as you can just like that, great. Get off all those nasty scales. And so second thing you want to do is basically you want to just cut the head off this fish. I just suggest just make a tiny little incision behind the fin right there. And just decapitate it. Yeah, let out all its guts. Next step is basically to open up the stomach. Just like that. And now we basically got to de-gut this guy. So let's do that. Next, we're basically just going to take off the fins. Shouldn't be too hard because this is a small fish. They got some hard bones on their fins, so you don't want that going down your gullet. But you're going to have a hard time eating this meat. Next, you just want to chop off the tail. There you go. It's basically our king clean fish right there. Open up its guts. See if there's anything left. That's one fish, and now let's do a second one. Alright guys, so while I was cutting up the bluefish, I did realize that I had a black sea bass sitting inside my fridge. And I know this doesn't look legal size, but the thing is it swallowed the hook and it started bleeding. And when I went to throw it back, it didn't really move, so... I'm thinking about cutting this up too, and we'll see which one tastes better, you know? I have a feeling that this might taste better because they feed primarily on crustaceans, and bluefish, they're savage, they'll feed on anything, so let's see, I don't know. Alright guys, so here's both fish, and now I'm going to show you guys how to prepare them. Preparation actually requires some, some pretty, I should say, I don't want to say stereotypical, but pretty cultural ingredients. You need some turmeric, first of all. Need some chili powder. Some black pepper. Some cumin powder. Recycled hot sauce. 
soy sauce and duck sauce from the Asian Chinese food store. Some ghee or clarified butter. And some Thai hot and sour paste. Some garlic paste. And some ginger paste. That's, basic, that's basically it. First thing you're going to want to do is take your fish and you're going to want to make incisions within the meat. And this is so you can basically get the flavors inside. Oh, almost forgot to cut the tail off this guy. Now I'm going to take a bowl, pour in our soy sauce. Some hot sauce. Some duck sauce for a little bit of sweetness. And... And half a teaspoon of hot and sour paste. You basically want to mix this really, really well. Make sure everything is incorporated thoroughly. Then you're going to want to take a quarter teaspoon of garlic paste. Apply it to one side of the fish. Making sure you get it inside of the fish. You know. Get both sides. And we're going to do the same thing to the snapper. Give it a nice even coating. Garlic. You also want to do the same with the ginger. I feel the ginger adds a little bit more flavor to the fish. Uh, that's done. Now we're going to add our dry ingredients. On a separate plate, you want to mix, I'm just going to, a teaspoon of red chili powder, an eighth of a teaspoon of turmeric, an eighth of a teaspoon of cumin powder, black pepper to taste, and a heaped teaspoon of flour. Basically, you want to mix those ingredients up. Then we're gonna go ahead, come back, then we're gonna come back over here, add our sauce over both sides of the fish. You wanna get all of that in there. And this is the part where you basically shouldn't be afraid to get dirty. Get the sauce nice and coated all over the fish. Now we're gonna take our dry seasoning and we're basically gonna just pat it down on the sides of the fish. Just to give it a little bit of a crispy texture and to basically give it the flavor that we need. I've been told that the best way to fry fish is lots and lots of sauce. So make sure you spoon some of that back on there. Alright, so now we got our skillet heating up. And we basically melted about three tablespoons of clarified butter. So let's let that heat up. And let's get frying.
You basically want to cook this under low heat. You want to cover this and fry this under low heat for about two to three minutes aside. Fish doesn't take that long to cook. All right, so let's give this guy a flip. Look at that, nice and charred. Cover it another two to three minutes. All right, so that's the black sea bass, and now let's get our blue fish into here. Alright, so, I do not suggest that you guys eat fish this small out of the river, especially the one in the East River. Uh, there's consumption advisories because of the contaminants that they pick up basically, so for snapper and bluefish, you could keep any size and that's only because they carry the most contaminants. You shouldn't be eating fish from this river at all if you're pregnant or if you're under 16, but if you are over 16 and if you're not pregnant, you're advised to eat at most a pound of fish out of the East River in New York City. That's of what I know. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments below. So, I basically prepared these the same way anyone in my family would. So let's give them a try. I'm gonna try the black sea bass first. First of all, I will say the black sea bass is a lot softer and it does have a couple bones, which is not surprising. I didn't take out the bones, but look how white that meat is. So let's give this a test. That's not half bad. The sauce really adds the flavor. Alright, so now it's time to try the bluefish. This one I don't have much high hopes about because when I was cutting it, I noticed it had a lot of dark meat. As you can see there, the meat's pretty dark. But let's give it a try anyway. Now it's a lot more tender. It's really oily. It has a lot more oil. This doesn't have clean meat. This actually tastes better. I'm gonna have to give this one to the bluefish. Because the white meat, it's soft and everything. It tastes fine. But I don't know. It's just the firmer meat kind of reminds you of like more of a chicken consistency, you know? So overall, both of these fish, they taste really good. I'm going to finish them off for dinner. And if you guys want to see me doing more catching cooks in the future, just let me know in the comments below. I'll be catching and cooking more often. Now, I do tend to keep fish very often, so look forward to that in the upcoming videos. I will be going saltwater fishing soon, again. This time I'll make sure I have better footage because I bought a portable camera. And let's see how it goes. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next shot. Tight lines, keep on fishing. These fish basically, you shouldn't be eating them unless you're under 16. <laughs> These fish basically, you shouldn't be eating them unless... <laughs> Shut up! These fish, basically, you shouldn't be eating them unless you're over 16 and if you're not pregnant, which is basically what the New York City Department of Environmental Protection or more agents.